It is March the 3rd, 2012, and you are listening to the EAW Podcast. I'm here alongside with the Reverend James Johnson and our guest for tonight, the Lockdown. How are you guys doing? Good stuff. I'm doing great. Good. Um, so, Lockdown, um, how's the EAW been treating you so far? Uh, EAW itself has been treating me good, but... What's been going on in my matches necessarily hasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first match uh, yesterday, I um, we first of all lo- I lost my match, and then they uh, they handcuffed me to the turnbuckle, and they made me they demanded me to give the match, but I kept saying no. So then they put. Um, my partner Austin Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf uh, through a table, barbed wire table, and I kept saying no, and then they just kept attacking him, and now he's out. They're saying indefinitely. So, and then today I had a match with um, Colin, and I was cheated of a win by Generation Next. So I'm hoping that they don't get the tag team match they're asking for, and you can do that. Um, yeah, I know you can do that. So, if you cannot, if you can make that match not happen, that'd be perfect. I I just received an update on uh, your former tag team partner Austin Lomo's condition. He broke his neck, but he's also suffering from anal bleeding. Oh, that's that's tragic. Well, that is tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well. Um, it seems you have a, a little uh, alliance with Diamond Cage now, though. Yeah. So um, I don't know if EAW is going to make that an official team, but I've been starting to talk to him a little bit, and I feel like I can trust him to be my partner. Good. Well, you guys have a, a little trial, so to speak, match on Turbo. Yep. So, um, I yeah. believe mm-hmm. the tag title should be vacated and given to a... Alexander Da Vinci and Scott Diamond. Oh, oh, why is that? Um, I think they'd be the greatest tag team of all time. I, second I greatest, second greatest of all time. <laughs> That's uh, true. She, Amy, and Nikki G. They have been having oh, some tag matches at the yeah. house shows. They've been doing pretty good. I heard about that. That was pretty good. Um, yeah. Well. Hopefully this new alliance with Diamond Cage really gets in the right direction. Um, but what else uh, do you hope to accomplish past this tag team dilemma that you're currently in? Well, I, of course, want what every extremist wants. They want to be the top extremist in the business and possibly try to be the top extremist ever. And I feel like I can do that mm-hmm. because I... I think I'm gonna try my best to get the EAW championship and um, make it my championship. Like people are gonna remember when they hear the name the EAW championship, they're gonna think of the lockdown and nobody else. That's what I'm aiming for. Mm-hmm. But uh, you could uh, you and Diamond Cage could be the greatest tag team of all time. You could be like the Legion of Doom. Yeah, we could be. And I honestly, I don't think... You think not the Legion of Doom is attacking everyone? Won the AEW title. Not possible, man. Yeah. Um, well, if it's not a uh, straight-up suicide and pyrite, there's also the... I hear that uh, Reverend James Johnson and Dorn have a little, a little association going on. Uh, would you care to comment on that? I don't see the uh, relevance. Oh, you don't? No. Why do you keep, why do you keep doing that? Doing what? Going on mute and then coming back on and then. Because I'm trying to avoid the echo guy, oh, or maybe okay. an echo. Technical producer, I'm I'm the technical producer. Oh, okay, nice. Um. Okay, well then, uh, we went in and uh, on the forums we asked the uh, EAW members to submit their questions that they would like to ask uh, lockdown. Um, and if you don't mind, we'll, we'll go over some of these. Um, let's see here. Our first question is, 
Diamond Cage or Austin Lone Wolf? Who do you like better? Who do I like better? That's a hard question to answer because I haven't really done anything with Diamond Cage yet. Uh, I won the tag titles of Austin. Um, I can trust him because we did it, and I don't know about Diamond Cage yet, so you should ask me that question later, not at this time. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, well, who are you more sexually attractive to? That's, yeah, okay. Nice. Not sexually attracted to either room, but okay. Um, well, uh, we can kind of assume that, obviously, at Reckless Wiring, with the Unified Tag Titles being interbranded, uh, I, we can only assume that you might be involved in that match. But past uh, Reckless Wiring, where do you see yourself at perhaps the Grand Rampage and the biggest show, Pain for Pride? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure that I will still have the tag team titles. There's a good chance because um, I've been in tag teams in the past and other businesses, and my teams weren't always necessarily the most successful because I guess I have what people like to call DTA, which is don't trust anybody. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I can trust Diamond Gage. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, we got a question from uh, <clears throat> Colin Kaline. Who, uh, oh, and by the way, uh, the other one was from Moonlight Predator. Um, Colin Kaline wants to know, uh, what do you think of your brand? Which is showdown. As what far as the I talent think goes, I think I think it has to be the most um, superior brand because I'm on it. So uh, I think it's a good brand. There's a few people who I don't believe should be on a showdown, let alone in the extreme answer of wrestling business. They don't. They just don't belong here. But like those people who I respect, like um, Ashton Cross and Diamond Cage, and I did respect Austin. Um, Lone Wolf, but mm-hmm. that's over, so I don't really know. I've only had a match with foreign, the Foreign Prophecy and Colin himself, so I don't know about the other people. Choke on your words, liar. <laughs> Would you care to comment on that? Uh, everybody knows that Showdown is not the superior brand. Okay. Showdown's always been the superior brand. Currently, talent-wise, I think it is in last place. I feel like they're just not too long ago was in first place, but I don't know. It seems like it's going through a slump right now. Hopefully, it can get better. Yeah. And then I got signed to show it out. Hopefully, it can reclaim its position at the top. Yes, it, it hopes. It hopes to do that very soon. Um, uh, we got a question from uh, Extremist Moonlight Predator again, uh, who wants to know uh, about the background of your Bobby Roode pick base and why you chose that. I uh, hmm. I chose the Bobby Roode pick base because he kind of suits me. I'm one of those guys who you first come here and I first come here and they absolutely um, love me. And then I do a couple of things that change their mind. They don't like me again. And then they do like me. And it just goes back and forth, back and forth. And we both are extremely talented. And that's basically the main reason I chose Byrood because we're both similarly alike. And if you didn't, and if you could have any pick base that was perhaps taken, which one would you have wanted? At first, I wanted John Cena because that's what I used most of my career unless he was taken. But now when I look back at it, I'm kind of happy I didn't see it. It's good that I chose Bobby Roode because it's something new, and he suits me more than Cena because Cena is always that good guy who everybody, like, children-wise, that he's always a face. So that's why I'm happy I chose Bobby Roode. Okay, fair enough. Um, speaking of Cena, I think uh, Montel Smooth wanted to quickly get a poll as to whether... Your team C Nation or team Brand? Uh, I have to say, team Bring It. Uh, I'm born in the era of Cena and not of The Rock. 
So that's, of course, and I grew up, like, watching Cena and loving him. So I got to pick John Cena. So you're on Team Bring It, but you picked John Cena? I was going to. What? You said you're on Team Bring It, but you said you're on Team Cena. Oh. Yeah, okay, so, well, so, you, so you want The Rock to win at WrestleMania, is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I want The Rock to win, but I grew up watching Cena, and now that I've, um, I'm have i passing it, so now i got to choose The Rock. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, okay, whatever, next question. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Moonlight Predator uh, also. We, uh, it seems like Moonlight Predator and Colin Kaelin really have something against you. But they must be like... Or it's the other way around. It could be the other way around. Mm-hmm. So you, uh, I wonder why they're bombarding you with these questions. I um, have a question. Uh-huh. We, well, we kind of asked earlier, you said, uh, what do you think that you're going to be doing at Pain for Pride? And you said, hey, you may not be holding the tag titles. What do you see yourself doing if you're not in the tag team division? Do you have any aspirations that you want to complete before that time period and hopefully uh, yeah. be on the card? Be one of the rookies on the card? Go ahead. Um, I want... <laughs> I want to um, be in the singles division because I'm more. I, I see myself more as a singles competitor. I don't uh, know about everybody else, but um, I see myself as a singles competitor, and I see myself winning singles championships. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm more of a cocky person than a non-cocky person. If that's how you put it. Well, but I I guess you can put it more than I'm selfish when it comes to gold. I want to gold all to myself, so I see myself more as a singles competitor after Pain for Pride. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then, if there was a, a person or two that you really wanted to get in the ring with, currently, who would you have in mind? CM Banks. Because I know I can beat CM Banks. CM Banks is nothing compared to the lockdown. I may be a new guy, but I know for a fact that I can beat CM Banks. Next question. Whoa. Oh, he's right. <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, seriously, they should make that match happen. I can, I can have that match right here. The second right here 20. in my living room on the EAW podcast. I just have it right here. Wow. I remember I was at Spocky when I was a newer man in the AW2 as you, and I challenged CM Banks, and I got my ass kicked at Banks for Oh yeah, you, you might know. You might want to learn from. Yeah, that. but yeah, but no. The difference is, the difference is, I'm different. I know I can beat him. You, you could say you could beat him, and you were just saying that to be cocky like yourself, and then you end up losing and making a fool of yourself. I actually know I can beat him. Oh wow, that's strong. You also made a fool of yourself, uh, jobbing to a mid card champion this week. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't jog myself once again. I was cheated of my match. Oh okay. Anyways, time it, is uh, running yeah, we're, out. Well, we're running out of time here. Any, any final thoughts? And maybe we'd like to have you again sometime if you're interested. But do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, please yeah. wrap. Um, last thing I would like to say is I'm fighting um, Straight Edge Suicide this week. Yep. He better be ready because once I win this match, my winning streak is going to start all over again. And it's going to keep going. And I'm going to continue my streak as being the top superstar, I mean extremist, and we're going to be the top tag team with myself and Diamond Cage, so the Extreme Answers Wrestling Universe should be ready. Okay. Very bold. Fair. All right, Thanks, well, we're down. We're I, done. I, I, you know, um, I, want, I was once told, a smart man learns from his old mis- learns from his own mistakes, but a wise man learns from other mistakes. I don't think you're a wise man. You would learn from my mistakes for pay for pie, too. I think that challenge, you might be biting a bit more yeah. off the new chew. You know what I mean? I'll fight you. I'll fight. you do. I can fight you. Oh. I won't even talk. Oh, you fighting me, but I kick your ass anyways. But, uh... Right, yeah, okay. we're, we're out of time here, folks. Uh, we want to thank Lockdown for coming on here tonight and uh, taking a couple of questions. And, um... And as for us, we'll just, uh... I guess we'll see you guys uh, next time on the EAW Podcast. Uh, John, Re- 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 Play us out. Arriva Dirty. <laughs>